Hi and welcome. Using a phone or tablet as a camera field monitor gives you a larger screen to help you compose your images and check the focus. I've used this setup for both video and photography and it can be really helpful. You can even take the phone off the camera to make working easier when shooting in a tight spot. I go through how to set this up and the required accessories in another video and I'll put a link up on the screen. But the drawback of this setup is that you can only use your phone for as long as it's got battery power. The obvious solution is to simultaneously provide charge to the phone while the phone powers your video capture accessory. But here's the thing. Most modern phones can be used in USB host mode. That enables connecting and using a USB peripheral device where the phone provides power to itself and the accessory, plus communicates with the peripheral device by using an on-the-go or OTG connection. But in OTG mode, power is designed to go from the phone to the peripheral device. If you use a simple USB cable splitter to also connect a power bank or charger, the phone might drop out of host mode and lose the peripheral connection or simply not charge. What we need is an adapter that allows the phone to receive power while remaining in host mode. That way, the phone can charge and simultaneously access the data from the USB peripheral. In my setup of using my phone as a field monitor, I use my Samsung A53 5G phone, and Samsung lets you charge and run peripherals simultaneously. The setup that I now use is almost the same as in my other video, but I swap out the original OTG cable that has one connector at each end for a USB-C OTG charging splitter adapter. The male USB connector plugs into my phone, and at the splitter end, I plug the power source into the female USB-C connector, and the video capture card goes into the USB-A 3.0 socket. I'll put Amazon USA and UK links down in the description to this USB-C OTG charging splitter adapter if you want to get one. It has both 60 watt power delivery charging and USB 3.0. At the time of recording, this unit costs $10 in America and £13 in the UK, so it's not that expensive at all. For my power source, I'm using this Anchor power bank with power delivery, but I could also use a wall output AC adapter. So let's get this connected. For my camera, I'm going to be using my Canon EOS R6 mirrorless camera, and I've got the HDMI output connected to an HDMI capture card. That then plugs into the USB-A 3.0 port on the OTG charging splitter adapter. The USB-C plug on the adapter, that then plugs into the port on the phone. Sometimes I also need to confirm the USB device, but you should then see the camera output on the phone. And now the real test. Let's see if the phone will also charge. Plug a USB-C charging cable into the power bank and then plug the other end into the socket on the adapter. You can see that the phone has started charging and the battery level icon has got that charging flash symbol across it. So yes, it is charging. Furthermore, the phone is charging while displaying the output from my Canon EOS R6 camera. I can now shoot for as long as I like, or at least as long as my camera battery holds up. Now, if that's not long enough for you, you could use something like this, the small rig R5R6, R5C, L bracket and power supply kit. It uses a Sony MPF 970 battery that's got about four times the capacity of a Canon LPE6NH battery. I'll be recording a video about this soon, so 
please help me with the YouTube algorithm with a like, share and subscribe. And to get notified of when I publish my new videos, smash that notification bell. Until next time, keep creating.